actually bear witness the word is shahid. We also witness that there is no deity except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we do this without any without any fear or reservation or embarrassment. We say La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Alhamdulillah Dear Muslims, believers Assalamu alaikum We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us Yom of Jum'ah This is congregational prayer Peace be upon Allah Jum'ah prayer according to Muhammad the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He has said that Yom al is the most important day of the Muslim calendar. This is the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we have to examine that statement. Anything the Prophet Muhammad said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we need to think about deeply. When the Prophet speaks, this is not Bukhari, or Muslim, or Trimidi. No. These were great men. They recorded the prophet's sayings. But Muhammad supersedes any mortal comment other than the Quran. We have to understand it was the Quran that made Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muhammad didn't make the Quran. The Quran made him. So the first source, the most important source of any information or any word comes from the Quran. Allah generates all life forms, physical, spiritual, rational. What you see and what you don't see is generated by Allah, by the Quran. Allahu Akbar. So Juma, the Prophet said that Yamo, Yamo means day in Arabic. There's a lot of words for day. Yamo, Yamo Juma'ah. This is the day of congregational prayer. Fisa bin Allah, strictly for Allah. That's it. This is no time to reflect about your job. <clears throat> no. We leave our jobs and come and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's important. Allah said, shut it down. I, praise be to Allah. In 1980, Allah allowed me to make Hajj. I was in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Okay? And I'm born and raised up here in Brooklyn in, in Newark. When Juma prayer came, all the diamond cutters in Mecca shut down. Gold, I seen 24 karat gold. Forget about the little gold you got around here. They shut down. Why? Because Allah is more important than your financial wealth. Allah is more important than anything you have. Everything that you have, think about it. Drink deep waters of the Quran. Everything that you have that has value, who gave it to you? Wasn't it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So Muhammad is making a rational plea, the prophet. He said, Yom al is the most important day of the Islamic calendar. Whatever you have that has value, Allah gave it to you. Think about it. Everything that's haram, you generated it. So Allah says, Hayal as salat. Hayal al falah. Rashid called the Aden. Hayal as salat. Hayal as salat. Two times, right side. Alhamdulillah. Subconscious, subconscious mind. You got two minds. You got a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. So Allah is more important than anything that we possibly have or we're going to witness on this earth. Juma is very, very important. Allahu Akbar. Now, Allah says in the Quran, the third, this third surah, Ali Imran. Ali Imran. <clears throat> Read this when you get home. Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. He says, In tukufu ma fi sudurakum. Sudurakum, heart. Kalb, heart. Many words for heart. Sudurakum. 
Cool means all of your heart. Kulin kutum, surukum, sudurukum, watabuhu, yelem, hula. Whatever you hide in your heart, this is what Allah says, male, female. Whatever you hide, what is in your heart, not your brain, in your sudurukum, or kab. Whether you reveal it or not, Allah knows it all. He knows what is in Samawati, the Lord, what is in heavens and on earth, and Allah has power over all things. Qadir, Qadir, all power. So listen what Allah is saying to you here. Whether you hide what is in your hearts or not, Allah knows it all. You don't have to articulate what you're thinking. Not necessary. If you think it, Allah records it. The angels record everything that you think, whether you execute it or not. Allah says, Samawati walad. Now, when we say Samawati walad, many of us think it's just the heavens. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Samawati walad, heavens and earth. Samawati. The galactical sciences. It's not just that. It's you. You have a Samawati. Allah created a Samawati fil Ard in you. You are from earth, Ardu. So Samawati wal Ard is not just heavens, it's the heavens of your thinking of here. This is Samawati. You have a heaven, and Allah is addressing it in the Quran. See, the Quran has allegorical basic, but it also has inspirational meaning, has dual meanings. It's rich with symbols. You have a Samawati. This is your Samawati. Where you think at, that's your heaven. And you can make hell up here if you think the wrong thoughts. Say, Cool. Say, cool. Say. Command verb. Cool. Say. What you hide, what is in your heart, or whether you reveal it or not, Allah knows it all. He knows what is in the heavens, not just up there, but in here, in your head, and what is on the earth. And Allah has power over all things. Wallahu ala kulishi in qadir. So when we hear the words Samawati wa Allah, this don't think about a physical heaven. Think about the heaven of your intellect. The top of your head is where your heaven is. The highest point in your creation is your head. And Allah says, make salat, put the crown on the ground for him. Salatu hayru min I made father prayer this morning. Allah says, the sleep. The prayer is better than the sleep. Next verse. So, Amala min Kairim. 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 When you hear Kairim, pure goodness. No pollution in it. Mudarata me Amala min su faudu la anna benaha wa benahum embada. On that day, Yamu, come back to Yamu again. Yamal Juma'a, another day, Yamal Tajdu. On that day, every nasikun, every soul, male or female, will be confronted. Allahu Akbar. There's a day coming when all of us are going to be confronted. Our souls are going to be confronted. With Min then. With all the good it has done. And all the evil it has done, it will push. There were a great distance between its soul and its evil. But Allah cautions you to, while to remember himself, and Allah is full of kindness to those that serve him. Allah Akbar. So why am I telling you this? There's two days coming, and in this European world that we live in in America, they're going to celebrate a new year, June 2023. In Al-Islam, 
December is not the, we, we don't celebrate that. Muharram, Muharram. <laughs> Muslims celebrate the month of Muharram. There's four holy months in Al-Islam, sacred. We should know them. Not December, old Lang Syne. This is Western concept, this is European concept. Muharram is New Year for Muslims. Allah Akbar. We need to know that. We live in this society. We have to put up with the knowledge and the customs, but we need to know the Al-Islam. The Quran frees you from these artificial chains. Allahu Akbar. So what have we done in 2022? We're approaching 2023 as Muslims. Have you done the best you can do in 2022? Have you done good deeds in 2022? Because Allah says here, on the day when every soul will be confronted by all the good it has done, it will wish, and all the evil that it has done, the soul will wish. There was a great distance between it and its evil, because it's coming. The only thing that's going to get us to the Jannah, the Jannah, the Jannah, the peace, no pollution, no COVID, no crazy people, no racism. None of that. Not allowed in Jenna. Ain't no racism up in Jenna. Ain't no COVID up there. Shaitan ain't up there. You want to get there? Then Allah says, on that day, every soul will be confronted by all the Cairo. 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 It has done. How much Kairun have you done this week? How much Kairun have you done this month? How much Kairun have you done this year? How much Kairun have you done for your family, your wife, your babies, your grandmother, your neighbors? It was wish. There was a great distance between that and its evil. The only thing that we're going to get by Allah to please us is what we've done. We have to do things for other people. Stop looking at you. What about the brother next to you or the sister next to you? Think about that. Not me, 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 them, them, them. You can't be that. You can't get the Jannah. You have to think about other people. Muhammad, the Prophet, he gave. There's only two kind of peoples on this earth. Those that take and those that give. Allahu Akbar. And Muhammad the Prophet was what? He was a giver. Allahu Akbar. So, what have we given to other people? What? If we want to get the Jannah, we have to help other people, like Muhammad the Prophet. Sure, take care of yourself and your family first, but there's other people out there that we can help. Muhammad the Prophet, that's what he did. Muhammad wouldn't pass a person without a smile. This is Hadith. Without a smile. I don't care what you was, a cap or whatever, Muhammad would pass anyone without a smile. How, how are you? Good morning. Good evening. How are you, sir? This was the uswa of Muhammad the Prophet. All of you have an uswa. Your conduct, your character, how you carry yourself. That's your uswa. And Allah says his was Hassanatan. Excellent proportion. That's what the Quran says, not me. Allahu Akbar. So, whatever you hide, what is in your heart, or whether you reveal it, Allah knows it all. He knows what is in heaven, what is in your mind. What is in earth, physically. He knows the condition of your body. <laughs> your body is a servant to you. Many of us abuse our bodies. And we have to answer to Allah when you abuse your body. Oh, yes, it's in the Quran. You think you can eat pizza eight days a week or Big Macs and live on this earth? No. You're abusing your system. Your body is an angelic angel given to you for a certain period of time. And then it goes home. Back to the pillar where it goes. But the soul don't go on the earth. The soul goes to Allah. Because your soul is your agent sent to you by Allah for a time. It's your trial. 
Every soul will be confronted with all the good it has done and all the evil it has done. And it will whoosh too late. It will whoosh too late. That there were a great distance between all the crazy stuff I used to do while I was in earth and my body getting high all the time. Not taking care of my family, my woman all the time. Jealousy, anger. It will whoosh. There was a great distance between it, it, nasa, nasa, it, nasa, so, it, and its evil, shaitan. And Allah is full of kindness to those who serve him. Let us drink deeply on these Quranic waters. Assalamu alaikum. Our faith, increase our knowledge, increase our health, increase our wealth so we can use it to properly this religion of Al-Islam and have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and accept our prayer. Amen. Dear Muslims, assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. We thank Allah for allowing us to make it to the end of this European calendar to 2022. We ask Allah to give us a better day in 2023. And we ask Allah to bless all of us and our families with good health, positive thinking, and love between each other. In the cause of Al Islam, Allah to Akbar. And in conclusion, I want to mention love before we go on. Bismillah. Ali Imran, same surah. In fact, the next verse, 31. Go home, read 30, 39, 30, 31. Read it. Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In kuntum, all of you, kuntum, everybody. Everybody. Tum is everybody. Plurality, everybody. Allah says one word and speaks to the whole earth in one word. Kuntum. Tuhibuna laha. Tuhibuna laha. Tuhibuna lahi. Love. Fattabi unni yukhumu lahu wa yakfi lakum. Wallahu gufur rahim. Say, kun. Here we go again. Command verb. Kun. Say, if you do love Allah, tuhibuna laha. If you do love Allah, Muhammad's talking. Follow me. Fatibi Unni. If you do love Allah, follow me. This is Muhammad talking to his Ummah. He will, Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. For Allah is Al Gufur Rahim. He is all forgiving and most merciful. Allahu Akbar. Now, I read this for a reason. I just read about sins in the 29th verse. Now, how do we get rid of the sins before we go back to Allah? How do we clean the soul? If you do love Allah, Muhammad says, Fatabiuni, follow me. If we follow Muhammad the Prophet, we will, Allah will wash away our sins. Beautiful religion. Proportionally beautiful. Whatever I've done, stuck up the bank, took somebody's life, whatever. Muhammad says, follow me. And Allah will love you. And he will forgive you all the sins that you committed that you're ashamed of. For Allah is Gufur Rahim. He is all forgiving. And he is Rahman Rahim. He is most merciful. Allah Akbar. So, <clears throat> I just want to, in our year as Muslims, we're not going to go out here and go crazy like these people getting ready to do in another 24 hours, making all kind of false statements. They're going to do this. They're going to lose 100 pounds. They ain't going to eat all, all kinds of crazy stuff. They're not going to have 12 women no more and all, all this crazy stuff. They, they ain't going to have five pairs of shoes instead of 50 pairs of shoes. You're getting ready to go into that madness in about 24 hours. But the Quran keeps us protected if we keep the Quran in our samawati, in our mind, in our intellect. 
Visit your families. Love your families. Whether they're pagans or not, they're family members. Muhammad the Prophet had pagan family members, didn't he? It's in the Quran. So you're going to have pagan family members too. I got them. All of us got them. But Allah said in the Quran, keep good company with them until the judgment. Don't stay away from people that love you, that are ignorant. Try to get along with them if you can. That's what Muhammad the Prophet did, sallallahu Whether we approve of their conduct or not, they're still our family. So Allah says, don't join them in their worship, but keep good company with them. That means be civil with them. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. We want to make, collaborate. We don't want conflict. Muhammad the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi so if you do love Allah, follow me. Allah will love you, and he will forgive you your sins. So whatever you've done, this is the end of the calendar, the Western calendar of 20, 2022. You can clean this late by following Muhammad the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You don't have to go to confession. I don't have to go to a priest and tell him all the things that I've done that were haram. No. I put my crown on the ground for Allah. That's the cleansing. That's why we make the salat. Your salat cleanses you from the stains of shaitan. Allah Akbar. So dear Muslims, we have to love each other. We have to get closer together going into 2023. Abu Bakr got closer to Bilal. Lady Khadija got closer to Aisha. Abu Bakr got closer to all of them, Ali. We come together. I don't care where you're from. I don't care if you're from Egypt. It doesn't matter. Palestine, we're one human family. Doesn't matter. When you said, La ilaha illallah, it was over. Our witness that there's no God except Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our witness that Muhammad, the prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he is the last prophet of revelation. Katamanarion. <clears throat> so we're family. And we have to start acting like family. And then Allah will bless this Ummah of Muhammad. We'll make more progress here in Elizabeth and be better Muslims. Assalamu alaikum. You come. <laughs> Thank you.